everyone, I'm Erin with Therapy Care, and as a speech-language pathologist, I can't stress enough how important play is for our kids. So today, I'll be discussing ways of playing with your child and why it's so important. So parents sometimes have this belief that they need to be drilling their child with flashcards or sit them in front of a tablet or another screen to watch videos or play games that are marketed as being educational for them to learn things. And so just as a side note from that, screen time of any kind, especially before the age of two, can be detrimental to your child's speech and language and cognitive development, even if they're watching or playing something that claims to be educational. So recent research has shown that kids learn best through playing and interactions with other people, rather than structured drill activities or through watching a video. And this is why many times speech therapy with young kids looks like just playing. Um, but to, just to say just playing is really kind of downplaying the significance of all that's happening in those critical interactions. And when you play with your child, you are teaching them so many important basic concepts and communication skills. So you are modeling and teaching expressive vocabulary and social skills how to follow directions, using joint attention and taking turns, and problem solving skills. So for example, you are helping them build their expressive vocabulary by describing what the child sees or what you're doing. You are teaching basic concepts like in and on or under or next to or behind. So for example, when you're playing with a car, you might say vroom, the car is going under the table as you roll a car under a table. So play is the most effective way of learning up to a certain age because the child is having fun and they are engaged. And if you force a young child to sit still in one place and drill them with flashcards, they most likely aren't going to enjoy it and they aren't learning functional language skills. So we need them to be engaged in a natural communication interaction. So for instance, showing a child a picture of a car that's great if they can say car when they see that specific picture, but are they able to then carry that over into a natural environment and out of that context? So now, what if you have a toy car that you can hold and manipulate? You can say, look, a red car, put it in the basket. This is a small car and now this is a big car. Or this car goes fast and this one goes slow. Or I have two cars, let's count them. So just right there, you are teaching colors, numbers, vocabulary, the concepts of big and little and fast and slow. You're teaching um, how to follow directions. So a much richer learning experience and more meaningful interaction overall compared to the interaction I described before using the flashcards. So overall, the take home message is that children learn language and communication skills from your model which is done most effectively through playing and also reading together. So it's good to be mindful of modeling language and not constantly quizzing by asking, what's this or what's this called? Um, so as a child grows, they go through different stages of play and their play becomes more complex as they get older. So sometimes an early red flag of developmental delay is evident in how a child plays or if they're lacking certain play skills. So if you have any questions or concerns about your child's speech and language development, please contact me at ejackson at therapycare.com. We do offer free screenings and consultations where you can get your questions answered and a professional's viewpoint about your child's development. Thank you so much for listening.